time living in this mobile trailer. Before it was just storage, before I came here, it hadn't been lived in and everybody was throwing everything in it, storing. I moved from Arizona to Oregon, Coos Bay, and then I came here. So I don't know anybody really around here. The friends I had, all, I lived in Edmonds years ago, and probably a lot of them aren't even there anymore. So I don't really know anybody in this area. I keep busy and I don't think about it. So it's not, you know. I was outside a lot and trying to stay active. And I ended up uh, falling. Uh, the dog, their dog, he, I used to give him treats when I was sitting on the porch. And this one time, he saw me and he got all excited and he comes running over and he bumped into me and down I went and shattered my femur bone and broke my knee in 20 pieces. So now I have a steel rod going from my hip down to my knee and then three screws over into my knee and that's the way it is. It's not much fun. And it's, you know, it's a disability and it slows you down. And things are harder to do, but I try. <laughs> a lot of things I do with the walker, the dishes and cooking and that, but when it comes to the heavier things, then I use the wheelchair because you can't carry anything heavy with the walker. And then I mop the floor with my wheelchair. And I try to vacuum. I, the upright's a little hard to use. Some of the higher up, I can't do the cleaning. So I need help with that. There's things that need to be done. There's a few cobwebs, <laughs> but I can't get it all. Yeah, you know, so it's not easy. <laughs> Once it gets cleaned up better, I can do better. The East Side Friends of Seniors, they come in and just dove in and a lot of cleaning, a lot of fixing, blinds to hang, uh, wall to repair. With the porch, they took off all the old uh, carpeting and put new carpet down. It was old and it was sticking underneath the door and it was hard to get out. It wasn't safe, really. In fact, today I've spent longer out here than I normally do. I want to be out here now. Eastside friends, they've been so great, wonderful and so pleasant and so helpful. They've helped me tremendously. Their wonderful outfit and their, all the drivers are so nice and courteous and they're so good at taking me to the doctor, shopping, you know, different errands. And that's very well appreciated. And I like being around younger people because that keeps you younger. And they had a little birthday party for me as I hit 79, I couldn't do all the, you know, what I'm doing if it wasn't for them. It's a big help. I think every city should have Eastside Friends of Seniors. It's very good for the seniors to keep them uh, so they can stay in their home by themselves. Those that can, that couldn't do it otherwise. My independence means a lot. I, I want to be able to do what I want to do and when I want to do it. <laughs> they make it possible, because otherwise I'd probably have to go live in a home, which I do not want to do. No way. No way. To me, if you had to go in a home, you might as well quit living. 
I'm not giving up yet. <laughs> I'm too young for that. <laughs> Maybe when I'm 90.